Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video for you today. I was able to get my hands on some 2021 Top Series 2 baseball. And yes, this doesn't even come out until Friday. So I was able to get it five days early. I'll tell you how uh, in a little bit. But we've got two hanger boxes. And we've also got a blaster box here. So this is kind of like the retail new release preview we will have a jumbo preview for you and we'll have a hobby box preview for you coming on friday when my cases show up so these came from a walmart and um i actually here's a little story of how i got these boxes some walmarts mistakenly have put this out ahead of time um, they received their truck or whatever or their inventory and they tossed them out on the shelves and these boxes actually were put out and it looks like new martinsville or new martinsburg west virginia i had to drive across state lines to come up with these i found them because i was looking on ebay at back blaster box prices and just trying to get, get an idea of uh, you know the demand for this product and they're about, about 50 dollars a piece for a blaster box right now on ebay i expect that to fall a little bit once um you know the supply goes up right now there's not a whole lot of these available so i saw these blaster boxes, I sorted them by nearest to me or distance first or whatever it was and saw that there was somebody with a whole bunch of blasters and hanger boxes 90 miles away. So I messaged them and we agreed to meet today so I could pick all these up from them. And uh, that's exactly what I've got for you now. I'm back from West Virginia here and bringing you this new release preview video. So let's talk a little bit about the set. You can see Fernando Tatis Jr. is the cover boy of 2021 series two pretty excited about this series two has been pretty good to us the past few years if you think back 2019 series two such an awesome set with the vladimir Guerrero jr short print rookie card in there of course fernando tatis jr rookie is the headliner of series two from 2019 2018 series two with bryce harper on the box think of that set with the shohei otani rookie card and the, the bat down ronald acuna jr short print just those boxes alone they're like i don't know like several hundred dollars a piece so series two's been good to us last year with luis robert in series two to chase but let's show you um all of the odds here first and also the no purchase necessary stuff you can pause that if you'd like to read through that in a little more detail and also it looks like we are getting 70th anniversary patch manufactured patches inside and these are the players that we'll be looking for lots of old timers and hall of famers a couple new newer stars you can see the tatis and juan soto and pujols and bets are the only active players on that list. So let's get into this. First, I'll tell you a little bit about the set. There are 330 cards in the set. It runs from card number 331 down through card number 660. There are plenty of rookie cards to choose from. Would you believe there are 60 rookie cards in this set? Yes, 60. So some of these guys you've probably never even heard of before. And, uh, you know, right now they're not worth a lot of money, but they will be someday. It seems like that happens like every year. There's always some rookie or so that's totally under the radar and then just takes off. I'll tell you about who my favorite rookies are in this set. I guess I'll tell you right now, and then we'll get ripping and see if we can find them. Number one for me is going to be Key Brian Hayes. Number two for me is Alex Kirilov, and number three is Jake Krenoworth. Those are my top three, but there are plenty to choose from. Let's go ahead and get started, folks. We've got Dylan Johnson taking this preview spot video. And by the way, we will be opening all of the inventory that I picked up from this eBay seller tonight as a sneak peek live break. Now, I've got a bunch of blasters and a bunch of hangers from this guy, and uh, we will open them all up tonight and hopefully find a whole bunch more stuff. Here's your hanger pack odds, by the way, along with no purchase necessary. Let's go ahead and get into it. Dylan, thank you very much. If you'd like to purchase a spot in any of our breaks, and there's tons of spots available for Series 2 Jumbo and Hobby. I picked up 20 cases of those, so lots available. If you'd like to check us out, or if you'd just like to support the channel, check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month which gives you access to all of our breaks and higher tiers, get monthly packs and boxes sent to you. Uh, two of our most popular tiers, $99 tier gets two blasters sent. One of those is going to be a 2021 Bowman blaster this month, and uh, the $51 tier is going to get one of these bad boys. I have a few cases of these coming in. So here we go. Our first look at Series 2 is underway with our blaster box, 67 cards. These typically sell in Walmart for around, uh, I think they're like $10.98. It differs between locations, but if you get it at Target, it's like $10. Bucks. 
All right, so the 70 years of tops are back. I can't wait to see those. It's going to be all different designs. There's also Royal Blue exclusive base cards in here. Let's take a look. We will spend, um, we're not going to fly through these cards like we would in like a break where we're breaking like 20,000 cards. Uh, this, look at this championship fireworks for the Dodgers. If you're a Dodgers fan, you have to love that card. There you see Mookie Betts right there with the face mask on, Max Muncy. That's a pretty awesome card right there. Then we have Brendan Rogers. Lots of new photography here. There's Alejandro Kirk, rookie card. He's um, a nice prospect, good bat. Looks like he's gonna be getting a lot of time behind the dish with the Blue Jays. Gregory Polanco gets a sideways landscape card. Laying down a bunt there, Polanco has not been able to stay healthy for much of the last few years. We've got a Cleveland Indians card there. For those of you that love the Indians, looks like it might be as that beaver on the mound there getting uh looks like a chest bump from jake elmore or something like that pretty cool card right there and another team card lots of team cards left and right starting things off evan white going into the dugout there with kyle seager nice looking card and we have an, what's with all the team cards boston red sox celebrating a walk off there it looks like and and it's the uh, team card set, at least the, this run. And we have another walk-off. Kind of cool that they're having a lot of walk-off uh, celebrations. I can't tell who that is being doused in the face. You see Robbie Grossman, run Laureano there, Sean Murphy. Um, Cool-looking card for sure. All right, let's get into some – let's find some rookie cards now. We have an Andre Scrub rookie card. That's not a great name for a baseball player, Andre Scrub. But you never know, he might not be a scrub in the big leagues. He might be the real deal. We got A. Eugenio Suarez there struggling to get that average up over 200. Big time power numbers, though, but also big time strikeouts as well. There's Tyler O'Neill making a catch there. Nice photography here. Edwin Encarnacion, kind of like the standard picture for Edwin Encarnacion right there. I feel like uh, that type of picture is on like 80% of his cards. We've got Dakota Hudson as our next card up. We also have a Christian Vasquez there. And Austin Nola, the older brother of Aaron Nola, pitcher from the Phillies. There's Mark Melanson back with the Braves, of course, now. He's not with the Braves anymore. He's with the Padres, I do believe, and actually taking the world by storm, having a great season there, leading the league in saves. Yasmani Grandal. We're getting close to the middle of the pack, which means all of the good stuff is coming up. All the inserts, there's Yusei Kikuchi and Xander Bogarts as well. There's Trevor Rosenthal. He's kind of uh, had a rebound in his career. There he is in his Padres uniform. We've got an Alex Cobb with the Angels. If only the Angels could get some starting pitching, what could they possibly do? Kevin Kramer getting a card. Hasn't really seen much action with the Buccos, but he has a card right there, Kevin Kramer. Uh, looks like uh, kind of interesting they decided to give him a card. He didn't even play in 2020, but they're like, eh, let's give uh, Kevin Kramer a card. Part of the Newman and Kramer Seinfeld double play duo for the Buccos. There's Ty Buttrey. He actually, uh, Ty Buttrey, if I'm not mistaken, decided to, that he didn't want to play baseball anymore. Now he's done. He actually retired at the ripe old age of like 20-something. Uh, uh, just said baseball wasn't fun anymore, and he's walking away from the game. There's Tommy LaStella. Big-time power from Tommy LaStella. I liked watching him in batting practice. There's Willie Castro getting a gold cup. Nice card there. Gold cup for a shortstop. And we've got Thor. Noah Syndergaard will flip this around. Looks like we've got some inserts coming up. We've got a Mike Moustakis. That is your silver foil. Great card right there for Dylan. We'll go ahead and get that one sleeved up. And we have a nice Corey Seager from the 70 Years of Tops. They use all of these different designs. This is the 1964 design. And uh, very nice looking card right there. There's a Jake Cronenworth, one of the top three rookies, at least in my book. You can let me know if I'm wrong. Cronenworth's had some uh, success in 2020. Having a good season this year, too. Hitting around 280. Jake Cronenworth, 86 tops rookie card. And we have an Alec Bohm rookie card and a Clayton Kershaw right after that. That's the 19, um, what's that, 65 design. Nice looking card right there. And Clayton Kershaw as well. And we also have a Miggy Cabrera, so a bunch of those. Tyler Stevenson rookie card as well. And there's a George Springer, so I love that. We'll get that Bohm sleeved up for you. That's a great looking card right there congratulations on those so the 52 redos if you like those those are out the window you're not gonna be able to find those anymore unfortunately george springer in his blue jays uniform is a nice one I like that one a lot that's that um 
Walmart Blue. You're going to get two of those in every single blaster box. There's Craig Kimbrell. Man, has he been crazy this year. Uh, just He's back to the Kimbrell of old, just striking everybody out. Nobody can hit him. He was looking pretty bad there for a few years, but he's uh, he's got it back now. So pretty cool. I love the 65 um, design. That's a set that I would probably love to go after. It looks like you get four of them in every pack. So I'm looking forward to this blaster and all the rest. we got a whole bunch of cards to do. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Hunter Dozier. Dylan Seas with the Future Star designation. There's Jorge Polanco and Dean Kramer, rookie card. One of 60 rookie cards you can find in this set. Luis Arise making a jump throw. And Young, rookie card. We've got a David Fletcher and Jake Lamb is the last one in that little stack. A little bit more to go. Let's see if we can find any of the top rookies base cards. Jemai Jones, rookie card. Interesting card right there. Almost looks like his hair is like airbrushed on there. Um, Mike Moustakas already saw that design. Andrew Miller. Remember when Andrew Miller was the big deal out of the bullpen? Just nobody could hit him back with 2016 Indians. Dallas Keuchel. There's J.P. Crawford with the Mariners. Jackie Bradley Jr. in his Red Sox uniform. Of course, you know now that he's with the Padres. Denison Lamette. Nice card. There's Jose Iglesias with the Angels now. Formerly of the Orioles. Juan Castro, or Jason Castro, sorry, with the um, Astros. What is this? Hold me back, bro. Walk off hijinks from the Orioles. Not too many of that. Orioles having the worst record in Major League Baseball right now. As of today, this morning, they only had 20 wins. Actually, no. The Arizona Diamondbacks are worse. The Arizona Diamondbacks are the worst with 20, but the uh, Orioles aren't that far behind. Fish out of water. That's kind of a cool card. Looks like he's snapping a picture of uh, who we got there. Really tough to tell is that I cannot tell. Maybe Jazz Chisholm. And who knows? It's tough to tell with that side uh, view. Some of you Marlins fans will probably know. Kwon Young Kim. We've got a Matt Barnes. There's Alex Young. Lots of landscape cards here. Jorge Soler is doing awful this year. Your home run leader with 49 home runs in 2019. You see it right there. There are 48 home runs. He only has four home runs this year and struggling to hit 200. We've got Johan Oviedo, rookie card. There's Big Red Justin Turner. We've got the South Side, White Sox card, and Jean Carlos Stanton. So from that hanger, I was probably a biggest fan of the 65 cards. Let's go ahead and get into the blaster box, and we have another hanger. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have seen most of the designs. That's the goal of this video, to just kind of appreciate the designs a little bit and show you what you can pull if you see these at your Walmart. So, yes, they did put these out at Walmart. I'm sure that now that's only some Walmarts. I'm sure that if they were mistakenly put out, they're already gone. Look for these cards to be dropped on Target's website this Friday morning, which will be live to help you find the links to get them, and also possibly stocked at Walmart locations near you this Friday morning as well. So if you wanna get some of these for yourself, your best bet is to go ahead and uh, join us Friday morning. I'll probably start that last year around 6 a.m. Eastern time. The, the Target drops the last three weeks have all happened between 6 and 9 a.m. Typically, uh, I think the earliest we've seen has been 6.30 in the morning. The average time of a drop has been between 7 and 7.30 a.m., so make sure you join us for that. And uh, usually baseball, they have a large inventory, and hopefully you'll be able to get some before they sell out. Unlike football, which sells out in like a minute, I do believe you'll be able to get your hands on some baseball. Um, Bowman Magus were available for like an hour or two, three hours last week, and they had like 50,000 of them. And um, I'm expecting us to be able to have a limit of maybe 10 blasters if you wanted to get these on target, so join us and hopefully you'll get some. But anyway... Let's take a look at these packs. Got to appreciate the pack art. Fernando Tatis Jr. celebrating a walk-off. That's a beautiful looking wrapper right there. I think we already showed you all the odds, but just in case you missed it, we'll show it one more time before we start delving into this. There's all the odds and also the no purchase necessary. So love the pack wrappers, love the artwork. I'm a big fan of Series 2. It's nice to have the uh, a nice release to look at. So there's Tony Watson leading things off. Nice to see a middle reliever getting a card. You don't see relief pitchers that aren't closers getting too many spots in card sets nowadays. There's your American League defending most valuable player, Jose Abreu. That's a nice looking card right there. We've got Jake Fraley. Been finding a lot of his autographs, 2020 products. Carlos Carrasco, his Mets uniform. He came over in the trade from the Cleveland Indians, and he is a great dude. 
Uh, got to root for him, of course. Uh, he battled and beat leukemia. There's Jose Martinez and David Fletcher. Look at those eyes on David Fletcher. He is just eyeing a meatball up there. Either that or there's a ball coming directly at his face at 95 miles an hour. He's um, just like, oh, crap. Cool card right there. There's Jake Lamb. We've got a Steve, uh, Stefan Crichton, I guess. I don't know who that is. It's not a, even his rookie card, but he's getting a card. Looks like he had 26 games for the Diamondbacks last year. Aaron Nola. And we have a 65 style Luis Robert. That's a cool card right there. I love the 65 cards. You might see one of these in about every pack out of a blaster. That would be pretty awesome if that's the case. I guess we'll find out. And there's one of the top cards you can find. Alex Kirilov. Very nice. He's got a ton of power. He's actually from Pittsburgh. I think he went to school at Plum, which is, you know, just right down the road. Not a big fan of the landscape card. I guess they don't look as good. Like if you were to have the, the rookie card graded out, a nice PSA 10 Kirilov rookie card wouldn't look as great in the landscape in a holder. Um, but still a nice looking card. Looks like uh, he's lining up a pitch there on the outside corner, ready to probably just crush it over the uh, left field fence, take it the other way. Here's the back of that card. That's a nice one right there. So that is, like I said, folks, I have this as the number two rookie card for me um, in this set. You can let me know who your top rookie cards are for this set. I'll go down through the list of rookie cards here in a little bit. There's Edwin Diaz as well. We'll go over all, I don't know if I'll read off all 60, but I will highlight some of the main names. You know what? 60 names. I could probably name them off for you really quickly. All right, so... Here's some of the rookie cards. I might do it in chunks of maybe like 10 or 15. We have TJ Antone, Ryan Weathers, who's a nice one. Shirt and Apostle, you saw him all over the place. And Bowman, Garrett Crochet, Cronenworth, who we already mentioned. Jose Garcia, Drew Rasmussen, Luis Campusano, Andre Scrub, who we already saw. William Contreras, you saw him all over 2021 20, products already. A lot of autographs from Contreras. There's Rowdy Telez. Dean Kramer, Zach McKinstry, who a lot of Dodgers fans love. He's a great one right there. Ha Song Kim from the Padres. You saw him fill in for Tatis at shortstop when Tatis was injured. There's Gerard Dyson in his White Sox uniform right there. Braylon Marquez, Estevan Floreal, nice Yankees prospect. Braylon Marquez. Shane McClanahan with a rookie card. A lot of Rays fans love McClanahan. Kirilov, obviously. Luis Diaz, Mark Mathias, Tucker Davidson, Matt Foster, Braxton Garrett, Daz Cameron, son of Mike Cameron, Pevin Smith, Pavin Smith, Jake Woodford, Clark Schmidt, Mickey Moniak, Jonathan Riles, Jared Oliva getting a rookie card. There is Derek Dietrich. And Jose Altuve with the card right there with the cardboard cutouts behind him. That's kind of an interesting card there. We'll go over the other 30 rookies here in a minute. We've got Kurt Suzuki. And look at this. We have our manufactured patch. And they are, I didn't even notice this, guys. The manufactured patches now are being put inside the packs. I think I like that. That's actually good. Um, kind of cool. It's almost like pulling like in like like before when you had like those. Uh, they used to come in packs. I don't know if I have any sitting nearby. I do have like a stack of these. They used to come in little packs like these. These are actually silver packs. But they'd come in a little pack like that, and it would have one card in it. And uh, I like the fact that they're putting it. almost feels like you're hitting a relic in every pack. So nice job, Tops. I think that's a big improvement, putting this into the packs. Because now you can just pull it right out of the pack. Like, hey, I got a relic out of my pack. Even though this relic kind of sucks, I'm not a big fan of the manufactured. I don't mean McCovey sucks. I just don't like the manufactured relics that much. Like this to me is, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even probably pay a dollar for this at a card, a card show. But it's kind of cool that you get to pull that. It's almost like getting a big hit. On the, on the flip side of that, the bad part is you're likely going to get less cards in your pack. You're not going to get the 14 cards in there. You may only get, I don't know, like six, seven base cards. We've got a significant stats card of Miguel Sano and Jazz Chisholm, one of the top rookie cards. We will talk about him as we get to the other side and highlight his name and the other 30 rookies. He's in my top five rookies of the set. Just did not quite crack the top three. I might have him actually at number four. Enrique Hernandez flying through the air right there. And we have a Garrett Cooper as well to finish that one off. So other rookie cards in the set. We've got Brent Rooker. We've got Taylor Widener. Zach Birdie, a flamethrower for the White Sox. Sandy Young, Jemai Jones, already saw him. Jojo Romero, Adonis Medina, Jose Marmalejos, Johan Ramirez, Josh Fleming, Jonathan Stever, Johan Oviedo, and Jazz Chisholm, which we just pulled. I'll go over the rest as we go along. There's Keston here. Man, Kira, get it going, man. Sitting 130 right now. Future star Edwin Rios. There's 
Jonna Heim, another rookie card. I don't think I mentioned his name yet. Brad Keller. We've got Randy Rosarena, future star card. Rosarena not having the greatest season right now. He's actually amongst the league leaders in strikeouts, which isn't what you want from a leadoff hitter. He's doing okay, but he's not doing. He's not performing to a star level. Steven Strasburg, Walmart Blue Parallel. We've got a Giancarlo home run challenge card. Another Alec Bohm. 65 rookie card. Okay, I love that 65 set. I, I hope they do that every year with these Topps Blasters in retail. I, that would be awesome. Like they did 52. They're doing 65 now. Maybe next year they'll do 53 and 66. Kind of a cool little insert set. Really like that. We already saw these cards in our hanger box. Oh, we also have talk about the rookie cards. We've got Luis Garcia, Luis Alexander Basabe, Alejandro Kirk, who we already saw, Ryan Jeffers, Tom Hatch, JT Brubaker from the Buccos, Keegan Aiken, Trevor Rogers, and Noli Paredes. Also, uh, Jordan Weems, Julian Merriweather, Miguel Yahari, I guess, from the Buccos, Rafael Marchand, John Aheim, who we just saw, Tanner Houck, a nice pitcher for the Red Sox, and the number one guy, Key Brian Hayes. I hope we can find him. Sam Huff and Dalton Jeffries. I really want to see that key Brian Hayes come out of one of these. I, I hope we can find him. We'll see. Some of these cards we already saw. There's A.J. Puck. We've got Wade Miley. There's Matt Carpenter. And a Jordan Alvarez 1986 style design. And if I haven't mentioned already, folks, we have a live stream tonight of this around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time where I'll be opening all of these cards up. And uh, we will go nice and slow. So if we missed any designs, you can see all of them in tonight's live stream. There's Fran Mule Reyes. Looks like he might be celebrating a Cleveland Indians win right there. Nice looking card. Franimal. Three packs left here. As we continue to look for Key Brian Hayes, we've got Dakota Hudson. Already saw that design and the Christian Marquez and Austin Nola and Melanson. So saw those. There's a Kyle Freeland. First time seeing that picture. Scott Kingery signed a nice deal with the Phillies before ever, I think, taking at bat in the big leagues. Hasn't really worked out too much for Kingery. You can see those stats. Not what you want. A 159 batting average there. I think he might actually be down in AAA right now. i got to double-check. But that 2019 was pretty good. Look, 19 home runs. Nick Ahmed. And we have a good one here. It is a Chrome 65 Kirilov rookie card. Congratulations, Dylan, on that one. For me, that's the hit of the preview video so far. Obviously, finding autographs in retail is really tough. If you really pause the odds and looked at uh, what the odds are of finding autograph, it's probably one in many, many packs. But that's a good one right there. I love that card to find a chrome. That's pretty awesome. And we have a short print, Roberto Clemente short print card. Check it out, guys. Very nice one right there. The great one, Roberto Clemente short print. Very, very nice card. He finished his career on 3,000 hits on the dot. You can see right down there. And then uh, you can see that batting record doesn't look that long. If you really think about it, sometimes players that are in the Hall of Fame, their batting, their font size is a lot smaller than that because they play a lot more seasons. But who knows how long Clemente could have ended up playing. He uh, un very unfortunately died um, in a very horrific plane crash, going to take aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua on New Year's Eve 1972. So that's a great card right there. Love that card. He probably could have played for a few more years for sure. I think he was only like 38 when he died or so. But um, there's Miguel Cabrera. We got Isan Diaz. Albert Alzale has been having a nice season, by the way. Nice starter there for the Cubs. That's that's a name to keep in the, the back of your mind. Luis Severino. And Jonathan Villar is the last one from that pack. So you'll have to let me know what you think of Series 2. I'm a big fan of it right now. I might be sick of it come next weekend when I've opened it for hours and hours and hours. But I love new stuff. And I love new flagship of uh, Tops. I, I love this and I can't wait for um, Tops Update. It'll be the next big one I'm looking for. There's Jared Oliva. Um, nice one right there it looks like um he did get a little bit of time in the big leagues last year 16 abs gives him a rookie card oh marcelo zuna i don't know if we'll see him again he was arrested and he actually headlines the dh debut set um for series two which is highlighting all the national league players that got to play some dh there's alec mills we've got a nice luis garcia 70 years of tops card 1967 tops design and a tyler stevenson as well Shane McClanahan rookie card. Nice one right there. That's going to be a top 10 rookie. Ha Song Kim. This guy's got some power for short stuff. I was watching some of his highlights the other day, and he's, he was raking some of his Japanese highlights. Look at that. 30 home runs in the Korean League. I guess not Japanese League, the Korean League. 30 dingers. 
the 306 average. We've got a Johan Ramirez and Luis Diaz is the last one in that pack. Let's go ahead and open the last pack. We do have one more hanger for you guys. And then we will wrap things up for now. And then we'll be back tonight opening up a whole bunch more. There's Franchi Cordero, Jan Moncada, Kendall Graveman. Anthony Descolfani, a nice surprise for the Giants. He's been pretty good on that one-year deal out by the Bay. There's Ryan McMahon having a good season. And we've got a blue of Elvis Andrews, a 65, Ronald Acuna Jr. Love that card a lot. Jonathan Rouse, Julian Merriweather rookie card. We've got Mickey Moniak and Dalton Jeffries. First time seeing Moniak and Jeffries rookie cards. All right, down to our last box. Again, folks, I hope you'll please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. We do one every single day. And uh, while you're looking for that subscribe button to hit it, also please hit that thumbs up button. I'd very much appreciate it. And also, by the way, there's a little bell there. If you haven't already tapped that bell, I would suggest you do so. That bell is the notification bell. Whenever I post a video or go live, you'll get notified via the YouTube app on your phone. A little, little text box will come up there that says, Jeb's family is now live. Or Jeb's family has just posted a new video, and they'll give you the name of the video. So you can click on it and watch it. I'd really appreciate that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Had to uh, preempt Mystery Box Monday. That was the plan all uh, for today. But when I, once I saw these and uh, made the deal to get these, I had to uh, had to preempt that. So Mystery Box Monday, in case you're wondering, if you're a fan of that series, it'll be back next week. But um, for right now, it's we got to get this series two previewed and shown to you guys and to get excited for because I'm stoked for it. But anyway, let's go ahead first through our. Hanger box, all of the inserts will be in the middle. There's Adam Wainwright, who's quietly building the stats to maybe have a Hall of Fame career. Did it as a closer, did it as a starter. We'll see how much support he ends up getting, how long he plays. For me personally, I probably have Wainwright just outside of the Hall of Fame, but I know some Cardinals fans definitely would put him in there. Cole Hamels has also had a great, nice, long career. There's Brian Reynolds, one of the probably the second best pirate this season after Adam Frazier. He's sitting around 280 something with, I think he leads the team in homers. Cole Calhoun. He's looking at a dinger. And now we have from the Giants, for you Giants fans, Robbie Grossman, former Bucko farmhand, and Corey Seager, big time star with the uh, Dodgers. There's Gary Sanchez watching a home run. He's got to get that average up. Last year he hit 147. Also not known for being a very def uh, great defensive catcher, but uh, definitely can mash. Got Tom Murphy right there. Just saw a walk off of him, him last week. <laughs> Absolutely going crazy. Almost scary uh, how excited he was. His eyes were like bugging out of his head. There's a Shogo. Shogo Akiyama making a catch there. Maybe out in center field. There's Mike Zanino. We got Austin Romine. Adam Eaton making a catch. And Nicky Lopez. There's Adrian Morihon, future star card with the Padres. We've got Miguel Sano. I don't know what he's doing there. Looks like uh, it might be a little dangerous, putting dirt in the air, then running through it, possibly getting some, some dirt shards in your eye. I don't know what he's doing. That's, uh, that's just, I didn't know he, he did anything like that. And there's Daz Cameron. Look familiar? To me, he looks like a young Mike Cameron. Nice card. like that one a lot. Another rookie card to add to the list. It's Von Christian one more time. We've got an Aaron Nola one more time. There's Austin Hedges. Still get to find Key Brian Hayes. If we don't find him here, we're finding him tonight because we're opening a bunch of this tonight. Every single blaster and hanger box that I picked up from the guy on eBay will be ripping open to show you pretty much uh, every single card you'll see by the end of the night in this set. We probably won't get through all 330 cards today because uh, 267 card boxes. You might see roughly half the set in this preview video. So I hope you'll tune in live tonight and see what we can find. Got a Corey Dickerson rainbow and a 1954 design Casey Mize rookie card. I like that one a lot. 54, of course, is uh, most known for Hank Aaron's rookie card. Great card right there. We've got a Christian Yelich 86 all-star design card and some more 65 cards. Tyler Stevenson, Ronald Acuna Jr., Garrett Cole, and Chris Bryant. Some Walmart Blues coming your way. We've got a Tony Watson and also another... Aaron Nola. Dennison Lamette for the second time. Iglesias already saw that one. Already saw the Jason Castro. Adam Duvall had a great season last year. Jacob Stallings has kind of cemented himself as the catcher for the Buccos. Starting catcher. Jay Up. Justin Upton. Occasionally bats leadoff for the uh, Angels. Mike Talkman. There's Devin Williams, of course. He definitely deserves the Gold Cup. He won the Rookie of the Year in the 
National League. This year has been a bit of a struggle for him, though. Jordan Montgomery. There's Jose Ramirez. And we've got Severino one more time. Tim LaCastro, possibly the fastest player in baseball right now. I, I forget how long it took for him to go before being caught stealing. He can really run it. There, look at this. According to StatCast, Tim was the fastest man in baseball for the second consecutive year in 2020. A sprint speed of 30.7 feet per second. Better than Roman Quinn. Uh, so move over. Uh, Billy Hamilton, we've got a new fastest guy here. Tim LaCastro, keep that in mind for the fastest guy. And also 26 for 26 on stolen bases. He was caught stealing, I think, earlier this year. Had a nice run there of not being able to be thrown out. Let's check out these team cards because I know some of you love the team cards. We've got the San Francisco Giants there celebrating. It looks like Jeff Samarjo pointing up to the sky. We've got uh, Bryce Harper on the card with the Phillies celebrating a win. And the Cubs dog piling it up there. You can see Wilson Contreras, Nico Horner, and company um, going crazy. There's Ryan O'Hearn. Hey, good to see my buddy Ryan O'Hearn back. Unfortunately for O'Hearn, he hasn't been a major star like Cedric Mullins is turning into. Yes, Cedric Mullins, who was absolutely awful for 2019-2020, is now the best player on the Orioles, believe it or not. We've got Keone Keller right there, and we've got the Cardinals team card. Yachty getting a hug from somebody. I can't tell who's behind him there. Nice looking card right there. And got Tucker Davidson rookie card. Running out of time to find my guy, Key Brian Hayes. There's Mark Mathias, Jojo Romero, Chris Davis in his Texas Rangers uniform, Brent Rooker rookie card, Tanner Halk rookie is a nice one. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was Key Brian Hayes. When I saw the Pirates logo. It's Miguel Yahure, Jose Marmalejos. Luis Campusano looks like he's uh, elevating a maybe a dinger right there. That's a nice uppercut power swing. And the last card is pa Paven Smith. And that'll do it, guys. That's your preview video of retail. Those are Walmart cards. And uh, like I said, I've got a whole bunch more of Series 2 to show you guys tonight. We'll be open all those. Dylan, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If anybody else that isn't already a Patreon would like to sign up, it's $3 per month. Get you access to all of our postings on Patreon and break opportunities. And uh, like I said, we got a ton of breaks coming up for 2021 Series 2. I picked up 20 cases, so there's no shortage of spots. If you'd like a Series 2 hobby or jumbo box, I've got a spot for you. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Tune in tonight for the live stream, probably around 8.35 p.m. Eastern Time or so. That'll do it. I will see you tonight, and if not tonight, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.